Hello, welcome back again to another session of AutoCAD 3D Advice Practice Drawing. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for not um, posting any video for about two weeks now. About two to three weeks now. I was very busy, but I'm back now. So today we are going to, I want to make this a uh, fan blade, you know, I want to see how we can make this on um, AutoCAD 3D. Okay, so, and I discovered that during this period, some people, there are some people that subscribe to my channel. So, if you are one of those new people who have subscribed, you're welcome. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. So, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to AutoCAD uh, environment. If you have not set this to 3D model, you can come here and choose 3D modeling. Once you do that, you have some 3D um, drawing tools and other features. So let's get started. Let me turn off this grid so that I will have a clean environment. Okay, so at this point. Mm, let's look at the drawing. So what we are targeting is make to make sure no matter how it is, we make this drawing the way it is. So let's start. So first of all, I'm going to pick my spline tool. So from there, I'm going to use that spline to make a drawing that they make a blade so that it will be exactly like this. So let's do it. It's just use your imagination there is no for this drawing we are not going to make much of the dimensions just use it, your imagination so you make a blade something like this you pick a point pick another point you just keep going like that okay okay you can enter and then we can adjust this by clicking here just click on the spline and then you can adjust it to suit okay let me turn off this so that i will not be stopped okay i really think this is fine for me okay let me adjust these parts also this is fine by me so the next thing I'm going to do will join this part let me turn on my other object snap so I will join this part okay and then now let me join the whole thing to be one unit so I will type J enter and I will select everything enter I have this the next thing I'm going to do is to make a circle. So I'll pick a circle too. I'll come here. Just draw a circle. For now, just don't worry about dimension of any circle. Just make a circle to make sure it eclipses the fan edge, the edge of the fan blade. So uh, if I can move this a bit, something like this. Yeah. Something like this is okay. Just keep it like that. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to let's go to home tap like this. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm going to choose the right side of this. Let me choose the right side like this. So, you know, this, this part I'm selecting right now is the circle. So I'm going to hide the circle. Just right click and you see isolate hide objects. Now, I'm going to draw something now. So before I draw it, I want to change this to view. Once you do that, that is fine. So I'm going to choose this arc, three point arc. You, 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 I'll pick a, the first point somewhere here. Pick second point somewhere 
here and then make sure you pick the third point but try to make sure that is a little higher in elevation than the blade you see even if you want to you want to adjust it you can click and you know if you want to adjust any line you can adjust it you, if you want to something maybe like this or anyhow make sure that you make it perfect okay so i'm going to offset that line so i will type o enter i will click through you know and then i will uh, pick this let me turn on my auto mode then i will just update up up offset it let me turn off my this my object snap so we just offset it to a certain this a certain thickness so this is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to give a thickness so i'm going to now join this part now let's turn on auto uh, object snap I'm going to join these parts and this side also okay so at this point i'm going to join everything together type j select everything not with the blade just this part enter i have this so let's go to the home click the home menu and see how it is okay so that is it so let, let's extrude this uh just click on the object extrude and then click on the object and just take it down to a known to a certain height you know there is no need there is no um dimension just take it to a certain height enter and then you can do the same to this one make make sure it passes the other objects to the other side and now to see this clearly let's change the view visual style to to shade uh, shaded so if you change it to shaded you see this you see you can see this Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to slice. So let's slice this. I'm going to click on this solid intersect. So when I click on that, I will click on this part and then click on the second one and enter. Now you see I have sliced that thing and I now have, let's rotate and see. I now have this thickness. You can see the thickness. Okay. You can see how the blade looks like now. Okay. Okay. So at this point, let's go back home. At this point, I can bring back my the object, the hidden objects. Then I, I have this. You can see that, right? Okay. So let's move this. Enter. I want to move this to the center of this circle okay and then uh, let's see how it looks like okay i think i think this is fine for me this is fine okay, that is fine okay so what i'm going to do next now is to extrude this circle before that let me move this blade a bit away from the center so we'll select it and move it away from that center okay I think I'm I'm good with this. So I think I'm fine with this uh, uh, position. So what I'll do is I'll extrude this circle. Okay. Just extrude to its reasonable height. And okay, let me check this side. I wa I want to move it a bit up. Upward something like this okay so at this point at this point 
let's check the back side. I want to make a polar array of this. So you select polar array, select this, enter. You look for the center of this. And this is giving us a wrong something. So let me click Ctrl Z. Okay, before you make the polar array, try to change this to view. Once you change that to view, you can now make polar array. You click this, enter, and then check the center of this circle. And then you have this. So let's give item number to be three and see how it looks like. I think this is this is perfect, right? So let's click home and see how it looks like. If you want to rotate, you can rotate this and see what how it looks like without wasting time uh at this point you know you can be adding some details any details you want on the on the blade or on this on the center uh, cylinder any details that you feel like okay for for now for instance okay let me let me add another circle sorry about that so let's add another circle here i can click a circle and get it to the center of this one okay so just make a reasonable uh, circle like this okay i think this is okay we just click and let's go back home and then we just pull press pull that down okay well you can actually if you want to give the heights you can give maybe 0 0.1 let's see how it that it that how that goes so i'm going to type minus 0 0.1 what i'm typing minus is that i'm going down depending on your settings i'm going down so so that's yeah the depression will go down uh if you are not satisfied with the depression if it is too small you can increase the number if it is not satisfied that is too, too much you can reduce it so for me i think this is okay or maybe let me just uh, go down small okay um press pull yes so let this go down maybe another zero, zero minus zero point one okay i think this is now fine okay um and that is not all uh, let me let me add something else i am fillets so you can select this fillet and i'm going to use radius of say i'll just click the radius and type zero point um maybe zero point uh, 0. Point, maybe 0. 0.1 let's use 0. 0.1 enter and then select the edge of this right and then you enter twice and you will have that okay so that is done let's check everything rotate and see how it is and um, before then let me join everything by clicking solid union select everything and enter let me move it out so that I can delete it, any 2D drawing that is there. And at this point, we can rotate and see what we have done so far. You see? So, that is it. Fan blade. I think it is not different from what we have here. Okay. So we have got exactly what we are required to do. So is or every other thing you can do, adding some small details. And if you are not comfortable, those ones are easy. You can do it anytime. But for now, this is this is it. You can rotate it to see how it looks like. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Please 
if you find this video useful please subscribe so that by subscribing you are motivating me to do more and let's see what we are going to do in our, our next video stay tuned bye for now